evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the Young's Modulus. Now, Young's Modulus is slightly different from Hooke's Law. However, it's an, it, what it really is is an adaptation. Hooke's Law is very good at looking at springs and very good at looking at a uh, property of a very specific spring. But if you change anything about that spring, its length, its diameter, its material, you got a different graph. What Young did is he looked uh, normalizing it to try and find the properties of materials to look at what happens if I get a steel spring let's actually find a relationship between the steel spring um, the material of it and let's actually try and normalize the force and look at the amount that I've increased by extension based on the original and what he came up with was looking at the stress and the strain and Young's modulus is the stress divided by the strain. So what he did is he plotted some information on a graph like this. Do, 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 do. And he did this for a spring, and then he got a spring with a slightly different length to it and a different thickness, but the same material. And for every single material, he got the same curve when he plotted the stress versus the strain. So after this, it was deduced that this line here is a material property. So this here is a material property. So all to do, this is one that only follows one material will have this curve. And what the Young's modulus is related to this is actually the gradient of the bit up until we get deformation again. I'm gonna call this again the elastic limit. <coughs> okay. So before, in my previous videos, I worked out the stress of my uh, 1,000 newtons on a 2 millimeter wire. And I worked out my stress was 3.14 times 10 to the 6 uh, newtons per meter squared or pascals. And I worked out my strain of this spring was 0.1. Which means my Young's modulus for this material is 3.18 times 10 to the 9 pascals. This has a unit, this doesn't. Or gigapascals <coughs> and this would be represented by the gradient of the graph okay so this here is my Young's modulus or YM the stiffer the material the less the smaller this extension would be the stiffer it is which means I would have a bigger Young's modulus so a graph that looks like that here has a greater Young's modulus and therefore is a stiffer material. And notice I'm saying the word material, I'm not saying stiffer spring, I'm saying stiffer material because these graphs show the material properties of an object. And that there is Young's modulus.